Connecting Central Texas. This is 25 News. I'm Todd Unger and here's a look at your top stories to end the work week. Today is June 19th, also known as Juneteenth, when we commemorate the end of slavery in the U.S. It's taking on even more importance this year in the nationwide push to end systemic racism. The holiday actually has had its starting... Eh, sorry. Connecting Central Texas, this is 25 News. Hi there everyone, I'm Todd Unger and here's a look at your top stories to end the work week. Today is June 19th, also known as Juneteenth, when we commemorate the end of slavery in the U.S. It's taking on even more importance this year in the nationwide push to end systemic racism. The holiday actually had its starting here in Texas, where it's officially been a state holiday for years. There's now a push to have that on the federal level as well. Should students be forced to wear facial coverings when they go back to class in August? Should the public be forced to wear masks in certain businesses or large indoor venues? School districts and cities across Central Texas are grappling with those questions this week. Cases of COVID-19 are rising sharply here in Texas, with McLennan, Bell and Brazos counties continuing to see some of their highest daily counts yet. Now it's time for a check on your First Alert 25 forecast. And I'm First Alert Meteorologist Josh Johns with a look at your updated 10-day forecast. Temperature is going to stay in the mid-90s for the weekend. Saturday should be dry, but we'll watch the chance of a shower and thunderstorm on Sunday and then increasing rain chances through the middle of the week. A little weak cold front will try to work through Central Texas. It probably won't make it, but we'll keep the potential for showers around. That will cool the temperatures off a bit. Lower 90s on the way for Wednesday and Thursday. Then we're in the mid-90s and dry again as we head towards the end of next week.